Consider the following scenario. Suppose you have a conductive loop C1, which carries a current, I1. According to Ampere's law, this current will push a magnetic flux density, B1, out the center of the loop and back around the outside. The total flux going through the loop is the integral of the flux density over the surface surrounded by the loop. We will denote total flux using the symbol phi, and we will call this particular flux phi 1 1, meaning that it is the flux that passes through loop 1 and is caused by the current around loop 1. Now, let's suppose we bring a second loop, C2, into the proximity of the first loop, so that part of the flux density field surrounding loop 1 is also pushed through loop 2. The total flux passing through the second loop is the integral of B1, the flux caused by I1, over the surface surrounded by the second loop, and we will call it phi 1 2, meaning that this is the flux density passing through the second loop, which is caused by the current flowing around the first loop. Now, the strength of the magnetic flux density is directly proportional to the current, but the percentage of it that couples with each of the loops is a product of the geometry and the positioning of the loops. Let us then define inductance, a property of the geometry and positioning of the loops, as the flux linkage per unit of current. So the self-inductance of the first loop, L11, will be equal to phi11, the total flux passing through C1 because of I1, divided by I1. And the mutual inductance between the loops, L12, will be equal to phi12 divided by I1. If instead of a single loop, C1 is composed of a coil of N1 loops, all carrying the same current, and C2 is similarly composed of N2 loops, then the self-inductance of the first loop will scale by N1 and become N1 phi11 over I1. Similarly, the mutual inductance will become N2 phi12 over I1. We also consider the case where the second loop is driven by a current I2. Here we may obtain the self-inductance of the second loop, L22, as N2 phi22 over I2, and the mutual inductance L12 between the two loops as N1 phi21 over I2. Note that the mutual inductances must be equal. L12 will always equal L21.